Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to a new video. I do not know, I think this is part 8 of our Adventure Game Tutorial Series, and in this part, I will be showing you guys how we um, add health, add hunger, water, and how we die when all that goes to zero. So, um, it's a pretty simple concept. You have this, you even have this, um, I've implemented a, how do I say, these bars that show you on um, how much health, hunger, and... Uh, uh, thirst you have so when they come to zero you can see and you can go quickly eat something so Now as you can see here I've added all of this into our third person character script the one that comes with unity this um, This will be able on, uh, to be downloaded on the github website the link is in the description as always and uh, basically when our hunger or thirst is at zero Let me just set it to zero our health starts going down and when our health is at um, zero uh, we basically die and you cannot move you cannot do anything in the future parts I will be implementing actually respawning clicking on respawn or whatever and um, in future parts I will be adding the ability to you can already pick up things but we'll be able to like pick up food and water and then go to our inventory and click on it and use the object to actually drink it and um, that restores health water or thirst or a hunger so pretty simple script um, you open up your third-person character script now these things that are commented out those are the things that I've uh, added so basically I've added an update function and I've added a lot of variables so let me uncomment these out link is in the description for these as always so we have a couple of public floats a health one hunger and thirst float we have a couple of floats called um, death rate, thirst rate, and hunger rate. This is the rate at which your um, uh, bars deplete. And another thing, we have these things, public sliders. Now, these are the UI elements that we are using for the indication of how much health, hunger, and thirst we have. So, you can see them over here. We have three sliders, hunger, thirst, and health. I'll show you how they're created later. But right now, because we're using the UI, you have to go at the beginning of your script you have to type using unity engine.ui so this thing was not here as well and now these are the sliders health bar t bar and health bar which values we set to be the same as the values of health uh, hunger and thirst in order for it to appear that way you'll see what i mean later so in update function let me just uncomment all of this out as well we have this void update and um here we set the health bar value because for these sliders you have as you can see the slider script it has a value um, it has a value uh, um, element and we um, set that element to be the same as the health and what that does is it sets the value let me show you how that happens so when the value is not at 100 and 100 it goes down and we set that value to be the same value as the health value over here. So when we erase this or make it less, more, etc., it sets the same value to the slider over here. After that, um, we see, we do this. So hunger, we just enter, we put the hunger and thirst uh, functionality. So hunger is equals to hunger. So update function, this calls every frame. So basically every frame uh, hunger gets reduced by the hunger rate times time dot delta times. So this uh, basically the hunger rate you can set it, you can change it in order for help for hunger and uh, thirst to deplete less or more. Same thing over here. And now we have these. If we check if the health is less than zero, if it is, we die. If the hunger or thirst is less or equals to zero, the health uh, is health. We uh, start. Um, what the, let me let me just explain one by one so first we uh, put this because our our values get depleted a lot and if they go beneath the zero we want them to stay at zero and not go into minus so we do that over here if our hunger is zero it stays at zero and if our thirst is at zero it stays at zero so later it, what can happen is if it goes less than zero somebody uh, we pick up an item that we drink or eat and it's the the um, value still stays, stays at zero because the value went under zero. So we do not want it to do that. 
If the hunger or the thirst is less than zero, this is a, the indicator for or, um, the operator, sorry. We say that the health is health minus death rate dot time dot delta time. So this is the death rate of uh, hunger or of starvation or dehydration that we've uh, set over here. You can you set all of these in the inspector. So you can play around with them. And here is the death functionality. If our health is less than zero, health is zero. My animator, this is an already created prefab um, by the Unity standard assets. So as you can see, it's over here. Uh, we set the trigger to dead and the game object get component. We, we disable the um, moving functionality. So uh, for us, in, or for, or in order to us, for us to be able to die, you got to go to your, um, let me find him, to your third person controller and click on its animator. Now you're going to want to create a, click over here plus and click trigger, call it death. And find a death animation that you have, drag it on, let me just delete this. So drag it on to your um, animator layers and create a transition of any state because we want to be able to play the animation if we're jumping, crouching, we're doing whatever. So from any state, 2D death animation. Now here we can set the foot IK. We don't have to, you can change, you can play around with that. I didn't. So um, here, I don't know why it's buggy like this, but bear with me. Um, because as you can see at the beginning, uh, we're going to trigger the death animation and the idle animation is going to play until we die. And we do not want that. We want to instantly see the death animation. So I'll just drag this over here and drag the transition over here. And now you can see, um, oops, wait, let me see. Yeah, we need to put this a bit over here, I think. Let me check. Yeah, now you can see we instantly play the death animation. And uh, at the transition values, the conditions, you have to click plus and select death and make sure that that's selected. So when the, when the death trigger is triggered, the transition is triggered from any of the animation states to the death animation state. So that's basically that. Um, now we have to create the UI, which actually shows us on um, how much health, hunger, and thirst we are. So I'll delete all of these and create new ones. But actually, I'll delete one and just um, show you. So I'll delete the health one. You go to game object, you go to UI, you click add a slider. So after the slider is added, you can see that it's kind of weird. Let's just position it over here. I'll put the um, anchors to this one, the bottom right one. I'll hold shift and hold this one and uh, scale it so it's in, uh, in the same aspect ratio. I'll scale it up to over here, I guess. And I'll go here. I'll um, look at the children of the slider and I'll delete the handle slide area because we do not need that. So now when we go to the slider, we can set the max value to be 100 and the minimum value to zero. We do not want whole numbers. And now you can see how it plays. So when it's at 100, it starts going down and uh, until zero. So now you can see when it's at 100, you can see this small little space over here, which we do not want that. So to remove that, we click on the background we hold this, not not this one, but this one, and we move it down until it's a bit less than the the fill area. After that, um, another thing is you can see when the value goes to zero, you can still see a bit of it over here, so we do not want that. Now that's uh, the fill area, so select the fill and drag it down. You can put it at, I think, you can put it at zero over here. You can put the width at zero. So now with when it's at 100, it's um, over here. We still want to adjust the background a bit down. So now I think it's finished, yeah. So when it's at 100, it's full. When it's zero, it's empty. And that looks pretty good, if you ask me. If you want to add any textures or anything, you can, cha you can change the highlighted, the normal colors. You can even add like graphics over here. I do not have any graphics that are um, really um, that uh, I can use right now, but basically you can make this look pretty cool. If you want to see some really good UI, you can look at videos where I'm 
uh, using the Naruto scenery. You can see the UI that I've created. You can, you'll see the videos. Uh, you, you know what videos I'm talking about when you look at my videos. So the UI is pretty good there. Um, you can see, I'm not sure, but I, I think I show it off a bit. So you might get the idea of how you can create that. Basically, you can just duplicate these sliders and um, change it up a bit. So that's basically that. Uh, I call this health, thirst, and hunger. Now when we go to our third person controller, you can see the uh, new values, set the health, hunger, thirst, 100, death rate, there you can play around with this, and assign the associated bars with the, the sliders with the bars. And that's basically it. In the next video, I will show you guys how we can actually pick up items um, well, you can already pick up items, uh, but they get added to your inventory. You can see the vid those videos in the playlist, and you can check the link in the description. In the next video, I might add, for example, I've already made a um, shop video, so you, know, you can buy things. Now, in the next video, I'll probably add, like, actually picking up food and uh, water, and being able to buy food and water from the merchant. And also when clicking tab, you click on the icons of the food and water, you get actually drink it and, um, oh, I zoomed in accidentally. And in future videos, I'll make it so you can actually equip these items. So I hope you guys are enjoying the, um, the whole tutorial series so far. Um, I really hope everything is good. It's easy to follow. I've been, I've tried my best to make it as easy to follow as possible. Some videos might be longer, some might be shorter. Sorry about that. But, um, I think they're easy to follow and easy to understand. So if you guys really want to support me, the link to donate is in the description. If you donate more than 12 euros, you get this project, uh, at the end when all of the tutorial series are finished with all of the models, everything, literally everything that I've used. And if you want to check out my Instagram page, the link is also in the description. I might start live streaming soon on YouTube and I might be doing a couple of Q and A's or basically play around, do play, play some of my favorite games, um, answer a couple of questions and just have a nice time. So I'll see you in the next video guys and peace out. Bye.